Hello. On in this project, I am gonna use a bloom recipe on a clock face. And if you saw our last tile video, I really liked those colors, so I thought that would be beautiful on a clock. But what I didn't really factor in is that the clock hole is right where I would need to blow out the bloom. So that kind of worked against me, but I still think it turns out beautiful, just a little bit different. So we're using the uh, golden bright iridescent gold here. We already have our base layer of house paint. I felt uh, really rushed because my paint was going down the hole there. It's Bavoom Red, I believe, by Color Art or Wine and Roses, one of the two. And of course, greenish blue by Amsterdam. It's just an amazing color. And so when I did the little tile, I did three little puddles and I just layered the paints differently in each puddle and I kind of blew out the bloom over all of them. And I really love the way I was able to keep some of the, the color blocks. So that's what I'm frantically doing here and trying to keep the paint from going down the hole while I'm putting those. So I'm basically kind of doing two blooms because of the little hole. But it turned out completely different with a lot of negative space. But I personally still like it. It kind of looks like a weird butterfly right now. It's kind of strange to go back and like watch yourself paint. In the moment, I remember thinking, oh my gosh, I'm losing all my paint in the middle. And I mean, I am using a white cell activator, which is um, one part titanium white Amsterdam to three parts. Australian Floetrol. So that's what I'm going to use to blow out over the blooms in a minute. You can tell that I'm just like frantically putting paint everywhere. That gold color is phenomenal. So this kind of became like free for all. Sorry about my head being in the way. I honestly had some really pretty cells, but a lot of the composition got lost um, when I spun it out because it <laughs> that little hole was in the way. So that kind of makes me think about maybe um, doing the MDF rounds and then cutting the hole after. But I have clock rounds. I've just been waiting to use them, so... And I was so excited. I want to check it out. Those colors are just so pretty together. All right. I can tell that I'm about to spin and I lose a lot of the lacing that you can see here, but you can also see a lot of negative space too. So I'm just waiting for it to come back to the center a little. kept trying to get rid of um, the like the big white negative space in one place but it ends up actually being okay I did tilt it a little bit to even it out and I kept trying to spin it the opposite way but I don't spin as well on that side You can probably see the space I'm talking about it. So I ended up actually sacrificing a lot of the composition just to close that gap a little bit. My husband actually came out of his office at the right time and I was like, does this look bad? He was like, no, it looks cool. Leave it alone. So 
he probably kept me from completely destroying what was left of it. But honestly, it turned out way different than expected, which is the nature of fluid art, unfortunately. But it's totally beautiful. Um, I just remember trying to get rid of that one white spot. But it turned out really beautiful. had a lot of character. Everyone loved it. Alright, we're just finishing up seeing how much of that little white spot I can minimize. And you can't really tell how shimmery and beautiful it is on camera, but that uh, bavoom red and the bright gold just create a beautiful shimmer throughout the whole clock face. And um, this clock is taped on the back with painter's tape and will be finished with resin. And then I use um, a heat gun to loosen up any drips and take the, the tape off. And then attach the clock motor and the clock hands to the front. Be a really beautiful piece. Um, we would love it if you would like and subscribe to our channel click the little notification bell so you don't miss any videos and our social media links are below we'd love it if you would follow us there and we also do commission pieces so if you see something that you would be interested in you can certainly send us a message and either myself or my husband will get back to you and i know that I think here is where I started to kind of give up on that white space, but we definitely minimized it. Pardon my head there, I'm just, there's this one spot that I was trying to level out a little bit. I would love to know what you guys think in the comments, and stay tuned to the end. I do post a really short clip of the finished clock for you. Thanks for watching. And here is our clock. Finished with resin. There's no way you can see how beautiful it is. But I really think it turned out pretty. Look at the shimmer there. So beautiful. Thanks for watching.